guys, welcome to my channel Beauty Doors. I am Ayana Walecha and I am a makeup artist. So today I am going to show you how I created this look, brown smoky eyes. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I am taking a pore refiner from Bioderma. This just blurs out the pores and I use it as a primer. Next I am taking Kaya Purifying Nourisher. This is the moisturizer and it is gel based and it is for oily and combination skin type and it is just an amazing moisturizer and for the glowy skin i use this post bleach cream from oxy bleach you can use illuminator as well but i use this hack and it really works well for me next i'm taking biofruit lip balm from biotique it is just amazing lip balm i just love this Now I'm taking a concealer from Ellie Girl. This is in the shade Pure Beige and I'm just concealing my under eye area and creating a base for my eyes. Now I'm taking a beauty blender from Pack and this is how you should use a damp beauty blender. And then I'm just blending my concealer. And the foundation which I'm using is L'Oreal Infallible. And I am in the shade 120 Vanilla and using with the same damp beauty blender and this is how you should bounce the beauty blender instead of just uh, swiping it because this is the right technique to apply your foundation. Don't forget to take your foundation to the neck because it will look odd if you don't apply foundation to your neck. Now I'm taking a loose powder from Laura Mercier and I'm just dusting it on my face to set the foundation so that it doesn't move and it stays entire day. And you can use compact powder as well. And I'm just applying this powder on my eyes as well. And if you don't have a loose powder, you can use the compact from L'Oreal itself. Now I'm taking an eye pencil from NYX. It is a brown color. You can take any brown pencil from any brand. And I'm just lining my eyes. And with a pencil brush, I'm just blending the edges. I'm taking a nude palette from Maybelline and I'm taking this brown shade to blend the edge, edges and don't hold it from front, hold it from back and just take a fluffy brush and just blend it softly. And if you have a loose powder, you should always protect your foundation by applying some loose powder on your under eye area so that if there is any fallout from eyeshadow, you can dust it off later. Now I'm using the same NYX pencil on my lower lash line and I'm just blending it with the smudger brush. Now I'm taking a highlighter from the same palette to just brighten up my inner corner. You can take any highlighter you have. Now I'm just dusting off the loose powder which I had applied earlier. I'm using a mascara from L'Oreal and it comes with this primer to make your lashes uh, voluminous. So I'm using this primer first, then let it dry for a while and then use this mascara. Now I'm using L'Oreal Brow Artist 
for defining my eyebrows and if you don't have brow gel you can use dark brown eyeshadow from eyeshadow palette and I'm just using a little glittery shade just to bring out the pop of color as it is a glam makeup now I'm using a master contour palette from Maybelline I'm using this bronzer just to define my face and if you think you have applied too much of product you can blend it with the beauty blender and I'm just using the same bronzer and I'm just contouring the nose and it is not a necessary step but if you want you can do it and blend it with the same beauty blender I'm just applying a blush from the same palette Now I'm just applying a highlighter from the same palette on the high points of my face But don't put highlighter on a problematic area because that brings attention to your face so I'm just lining my lips before lipsticks. This is a very important step. So don't ignore this step. You can use any nude liner. And if you make any mistake while applying a lipstick, use a concealer to correct it because if you wipe it with your tissue paper, it will just wipe off the foundation as well. Whenever I think I have applied too dark lipstick, this is what I do. I apply a concealer on it. After that, I again apply a lip liner to make my lips more defined. And to give the perfect shape, I use the same concealer to correct it and make my lips more prominent. And after that, don't forget to blend the concealer with the sponge. And whenever I wear off shoulder dress, I like to apply some highlighter on my shoulders as well. Now I'm just finishing my makeup by applying a MAC Fix Plus. You can use any makeup spray. I hope you like this video and if you find this video useful please do like that video and subscribe to my channel so whenever I upload a video you get to know so bye guys love you all